So irrigation, castor irrigation. So in terms of um, castor irrigation, you know, you can grow castor rain-fed or using irrigation system. It depends with you. Since we know that castor is a perennial crop, meaning it can go more than one year, you need to have a plan. After the rain season, what are we going to do? After the rain season, you do your harvest. Then from there, what happens? In the dry season, what are we going to do? You need to, if you can manage, have an irrigation system. Which works best for you? The sprinkler irrigation system. There is um, a drip irrigation system. The more efficient one. These are the only ones that can work. Unfortunately, rain hose irrigation system cannot work. The reason being is that this, uh, this crop... For the local variety, in case you have a good local variety, in fact, for them, they'll grow up to five meters tall. So it's impossible for you to use a rain hose irrigation system. Sprinkler irrigation system will work out. But if you have got a variety that grows tall like a tree and you allow it to grow like that, also sprinkler might not work. At a certain point, it's going to be difficult for you to do the irrigation because the uh, the plant would have outgrown the length of the sprinklers there is also of course drip irrigation the most efficient it depends with you how you like it if you don't have enough water go for irrigation i mean for uh, drip irrigation system if you don't have enough water you have got enough water you can go for a sprinkler irrigation system it would depend with preference it would depend with um uh, the cost that is involved. What is important and cardinal is for the crops to be watered. For efficient water to reach the crops and that is it. Very important. Because like I said, after harvesting, rain season, you are done with your harvesting. After that, there will be a period where the crop will go into dormancy. Then after that, you need to still continue watering it and feeding it. What happens? Do you wait for another rain season? For it to rejuvenate. Now, move in the irrigation system. So that at least you have got a maximum heal. At least if you are growing, uh, you are doing agriculture as a business. This is something you have to think about. So that is why sometimes you can start according to your pocket. By, being, uh, by starting small, it's relative. It, it starts according to what you can afford. If you can afford one hectare under irrigation, Please do so. If you don't have money for irrigation, try to do a train fed. Have one harvest. See how much it, it, bring, it brings out. You have got sufficient profits. Please, get part of the profit to, to buy an irrigation system. This is very important. Thank you very much.